This is Inside Advertising, a weekly look behind the scenes of the advertising business. And now here's your host, Glenn Herman. It happens to each and every one of us about 1,700 times every day, whether consciously or subconsciously, we are registering commercial impressions. Think about it. We have television, have radio, newspaper advertisements, and magazine advertisements, and billboards. People wear T-shirts with advertisements on the front or back, sides, and people even wear buttons with ads on them, bumper stickers as well. It seems everybody wants a piece of our minds. Well, today, we're going to take a look at radio advertising, and we're going to find out how we go about producing a good radio commercial. With me here in the studio is the uh, award-winning creative director of Della Femina Advertising in New York City, Bill Hamburger. Bill, thanks for coming over. Glad to be here. Uh, radio has been called by some people the most creative medium for advertising. Now, do you agree with that? Absolutely. Uh, radio is a medium where you can create theater of the mind. Yeah. Uh, it is a uh, medium that you can create mini dramas uh, mm -hmm. for 30 seconds, uh, mini comedies for 60 seconds. The only real limitation would be somebody's imagination. How does the process begin? Uh, what are the things you consider when you go about writing a radio commercial? First of all, you must think about the audience that you want to reach. Maybe the person. Is it a mother? A mother of teenagers? Uh, the father bringing home the bread? Uh, maybe the teenagers themselves. It also depends upon the product, on where the product is in the marketplace, on where the product is positioned in the consumer's mind, uh, how well established and so forth, and how much the commercial is going to cut through other commercial clutter. I understand we have uh, a video piece of you actually producing uh, a radio commercial. Mm -hmm. This is a very simple 30-second ad for Dollar Rent-A-Car. Uh, basically, I came up with a commercial to remember the name Dollar Rent-A-Car and try to use Dollar to associate the savings that you can get with Dollar mm -hmm. Rent-A-Car. Well, can we uh, go to that clip now? This is a typical radio production studio. This is where we come in and roll up our sleeves and create commercials that will make you, as a consumer, buy. Um, to create commercials, first you need a script. Today, we are going to produce a local commercial for Dollar Rent-A-Car. Now, to produce this commercial, we need certain effects. Up here, we have an effects rack. You have a graphic equalizer up top that can enhance your voice and make it deeper, make it sound tinny, and different effects like that. Here, we have a digital signal processor. It's a big word for making your voice sound funny. Uh, we can do that by, I did a demonstration tape for you here. I can make my voice sound like we're in a wind tunnel. Or we could be in a large cave. Or I could make my voice bounce. 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 I can create def different effects with the digital processor just by pressing in different numbers into the computer. Down here, it's just a simple cassette machine. Here, we have loaded into what are called cart machines the elements of the commercial. Now, this commercial is a dialogue. I have to talk Ooh, back good. to another voice. I've created that other voice using some of these effects, and it's a more of a cartoon character type voice, which you'll hear in a second. Over here, we have some of the sound effects that will be used within the commercial, like the door opening and the coins dropping, which you'll gain the relevance at, uh, to that in just a second. Here we have what is called the bed of the commercial. It's the music. It gives the commercial flavor. Sometimes it gives the commercial its bounce, and so to speak. Uh, I think we have everything ready to go. I've explained all the effects. Uh, now let's produce this commercial for Dollar Rent-A-Car. I'm sorry? Now, the best way to do this is to get it in the first take so you don't waste the client's money. And I think we have all the elements ready. And this is Dollar Rent-A-Car. Take number one in three, two, one. Hi, welcome to Dollar Rent-A-Car. May I help you? Yes, uh, here's four quarters. I'd like to rent that Corsica out there. Well, you only gave me a dollar here and change, sir. Right, you're Dollar Rent-A-Car. Dollar. I give you a dollar, I rent a car here at Kevin. Well, sir, what Dollar Rent-A-Car means is we rent cars for less dollars than any other car rental place around. That's Dollar Rent-A-Car, and we can prove it. I can't have the Corsica for a buck. Uh, no, sorry, but our prices are the best. Oh. Dollar Rent-A-Car at Kevel Chevrolet Alls Geo, Route 46, Bud Lake. And the music fades down. And that's how we complete a commercial. Well, that's very good, Bill. Uh, can you uh, describe exactly what you were trying to do with that commercial? Well, 
with rent a car, there's a lot of places you can rent a car. Sure. Uh, we try to get through with this commercial on how you can remember the name Dollar Rent a Car, its mm -hmm. benefits, and so forth. So we created an absurd situation. Uh, where does anybody rent a, a, a car for a dollar? <laughs> uh, we created a situation where we dropped quarters for sound effects as sure. opposed to dropping a dollar bill. Well, you which can't we hear anything when right, a dollar exactly. drops. Yeah. Um, and we tried to draw the listener in with dialogue and also the sound effects. All in about 30 seconds. Uh, you've done, uh, changing the subject, you've done a lot of TV, newspaper, magazine, billboard, uh, mm -hmm. but you're claiming radio is your favorite medium. Radio is fun. Radio is so versatile. Um, I can have two people with a very intimate conversation, but yet it's still one-to-one -one because radio is a very one-to-one -one medium. Sure. Uh, I can create very serious type 30-second plays, sometimes calamity, sometimes confusion. I'm trying to create a dramatic message and just do it with the voice to leave an impression. You hear a lot of jingles on the radio. Uh, are jingles, in your mind, considered uh, very effective? They can be if they're constructed properly and if they're run long enough. Uh, mm -hmm. It takes a long time to work a jingle in. Mm -hmm. uh, can you recognize this jingle? Da 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 da. Yeah, Winston tastes good like a cigarette Red should. should. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty uh, good. <laughs> the commercial's been off the air for twenty years no. since they banned radio uh, cigarette years? advertising. Twenty years. Twenty years. I remember it as being like it was yesterday or the day before. No, it was 20 years. 20 years ago. That's amazing. Magic of music, huh? The magic of melody. People tend to listen to melody. They'll remember melody a lot quicker than they would the spoken word. Mm -hmm. Winston now spend ten, spends 10 times as much money in advertising just to try for you to remember their slogan. Do you remember their slogan? Do you know what it is now? Mm. Winston cigarettes make you healthy. Uh, no. <laughs> America's best. Uh, I didn't remember that. <laughs> but I did remember the jingle. And that's, uh, I guess that's the point, really, isn't it? Yes. Um, sound effects, you use those a lot? Well, it depends on the commercial and how you write it. Mm -hmm. uh, sound effects can be very effective. You can use traffic noises. Uh, how many times has a zipper stopped you right in your tracks? <laughs> uh, or, or take the guy who tells his wife he doesn't see why he needs more closet space, so he opens the door, and everything comes falling out from the pots and the pans and the, the, the sneakers. <laughs> I see you brought your closet with you, huh? Did you hear something? Yes, I did. I heard something. Oh. I think that's the point, isn't it? <laughs> Bill Hamburger, I want to thank you for uh, giving us an idea as to what goes on in at least one twisted mind, yours, uh, thank namely, you. thank behind you. the scenes in advertising. I hope you can join us again soon. Yeah, sure, I'd like to. And thank you for uh, listening and joining us on Inside Advertising next week.